Brian here. I'm running some errands for the radio station, stopping off at some sponsors and doing some things. And then when I'm done here, I'm gonna go to our sponsor, Any Lab Test Now with Boca, and get a COVID test. They have on the spot immediate testing. So I'm gonna get an instant test. I don't think I have COVID. I think I have a cold, <clears throat> but um, I really don't have time to have a cold right now because I got this week and next week, I got a lot to do and then the cruise and I just don't have the time to be laid up with a cold, but I guess I'm not gonna have a choice. So after I get my COVID test, I'm going to uh, make a bed on the couch, get some chicken soup and eat that, and then go to sleep, hopefully until I have to get up in the morning to go to the radio station. It's really tough. I wanna get as much rest as I can so I don't get sicker than I am. And having a cold, is a little difficult for me because broadcasting, I have to talk. So I don't wanna take any time off work sick because I wanna be off for a whole week for the cruise in a couple weeks. But I'll hopefully not get worse. I'm positive my COVID test is gonna be negative. I think so, because I don't have any symptoms, but I'm just gonna do it just to be on the on the safe side. And this is just for backup in case I wake up in the morning, not feeling well and start to do the show. Got my DayQuil, which works really well. I love DayQuil. And Theraflu actually is really good. It works quick. You know, when you gotta be on the air and you're not feeling well, you need something that works and works quick to knock the symptoms out so that I can get through the broadcast. So I went and got a COVID test and luckily it was negative. And uh, it's very important for me to get that negative COVID test because everyone is gonna know I'm sick because I'm on the radio and I'm sick and I sound sick and I'm complaining about being sick. And anytime you get a runny nose, anytime you have a sniffle, everyone's like, COVID, COVID, COVID. So I have to let everyone know whether or not I have COVID or not. So I got the test and uh, it was negative, which was a good thing, you know? And I, I'm going on a cruise in two weeks you know, and everything else. Plus I'm at the radio station, there's a lot of people there. So I gotta make sure I don't have COVID, which is a good thing. So Kathy made me a nice bed on the couch. And <laughs> I've got my my pillow, Giza Elegance pillows on the couch so I can be propped up because of my sinuses. And uh, I actually slept for a couple hours on the couch when I got home and it helped me. I actually feel better because I got some rest. So I'm not gonna do a podcast today because I need to get some rest. You know, podcast, a lot of work, not just the show itself. I didn't have to edit the show, which takes time. And it takes about an hour of production work after the podcast to get it ready, to get it uploaded to YouTube, get it uploaded to all the podcast platforms and everything else. You know, I do audio processing and things like that on it. So it's a bit of a process. The podcast takes about three hours from beginning to end, including doing the show. So I thought it was best that I just take it easy and rest today. And uh, I'm glad I did, because I can already tell I feel a lot better. I'm in line at Starbucks because I really don't want to be bothered with getting coffee in the morning. So I'm getting my coffee for tomorrow today and I'll heat up the Starbucks coffee in the microwave before I head off to the radio station tomorrow because I wanna get every little bit of sleep I can tonight and not get up any earlier than I absolutely have to in case I wake up tomorrow not feeling too well. But it heats up fine. I put it in the microwave for two minutes and it's the perfect temperature. I really don't drink coffee for the taste. I drink it for the huge caffeine dose. The guy that helped me at Starbucks at the drive-thru is transitioning, which you can tell by looking. I mean, you know, and uh, he's got a voice deeper than mine, but he's transitioning and he's got blue and green hair. And then he starts telling me about his girlfriend. So I don't know what that was all about. I don't know if he is like just an activist who's trying to say like, this is what I am and I'm, you know, and I'm transitioned. I got, I, I don't know what that was all about. But I did take my Trump hat off before I pulled up to the drive-thru because you can't trust these liberal wokesters 
with anything you consume in your body if they see a Trump hat, because who knows? If I got lucky, they would just give me decaf. If I was unlucky, I don't know what they'd do. Now I'm heading into Walgreens. There's a couple things I gotta pick up. All right, so I got the biggest bag that they have. They don't have holes. I hope the Walgreens brand is okay. Wow, 200? That'll get me through a couple days. This is the sign at the lake by my house in my community. This is Florida life. No swimming, do not feed alligators. And then there's a number there to report feeding or molesting of the alligators. Really? Molesting of alligators? What does that exactly mean? I'm home in my driveway. I'm gonna go in my house and spend the rest of the day and night living like a liberal, which means laying on the couch, watching TV until I fall asleep. I'm feeling a lot better. I'm hoping I'll wake up in the morning and be all better. Although a sneeze is coming on. Hold on. Nope, it stopped. <laughs> I was about to sneeze and I didn't, but I am feeling better. Thanks for watching guys. I'll see you next time.